So today I'm finally going to make the video that I started making booktube videos in order to make. <laughs> and it's the beautiful covers tag. So there are seven questions and the first question is list or show five of your most beautiful book covers. So first I have Sabriel by Garth Nix. This is the first in a trilogy by Garth Nix. Um, and I like all the covers for those books. This is the only one I have with me. This might become a theme as I go through my books. I really like books that have illustrative covers that kind of give me an idea of what's inside. I'm not a big fan of covers that look like they've been done in Photoshop or that look like just like photo manipulations. Um, sometimes I like pictures like that just as pictures, but I don't like them as book covers. The next book on my list follows the same kind of principle. It's Ray Bradbury's Dandelion Wine. Um, again, this like looks like it could be something from one of the stories, but it's not super specific. It's like pretty and it catches you in. Third, I have Watership Down by Richard Adams. This one actually does look like it could be a photograph. Landscape photographs are a little bit different. Um, yeah, that doesn't bother me so much. I like this one. I like how saturated the colors are. I like the placement of the author's name and the title. And I really, really like the spine. Fourth on my list is quite a bit different. Um, it's Whirligig by Paul Fleischman. There are several things that I like about this cover. I like the colors. They're like blues and browns and yellows. Um, I also like how it ties into the story and I like its sort of quirkiness. Um, but I also really, really like the sort of the all overness of it. Um, that's one of my complaints about dandelion wine is like, the sort of the separation of the author and title from the picture on the cover but I like how here those two elements are integrated p.s. this is a really good book and you should read it last of my five is a book I haven't read yet um, it's Lavinia by Ursula Le Guin the cover is gorgeous um, I feel like the color is kind of unique. Like I see gold on covers a lot or like blue or green but this is kind of like a peachy gold. I don't know how well it shows up. Um, and then the green is sort of it's like has elements of blue and gray Maybe this is like Celadon? I don't know. I feel like I've read descriptions of Celadon and this is kind of the color I imagine, but with maybe more gray in it. The next question is a beautiful book cover that features your favorite color. I have a lot of favorite colors, but my default, since people don't want to listen to a list, but that's a question they ask frequently, is green for a variety of reasons. Um, and so the book I chose for this is my dual language edition of Beowulf. Um, this is the only nonfiction book that I pulled out for this tag, but I have a lot of nonfiction books with beautiful covers. They're just beautiful in different ways because they, nonfiction I feel like can do different things with covers and it works where like on a fiction book it wouldn't. It's kind of a dark cover, so I hope it shows up, but I really, really like it, yeah. Next is a beautiful cover that features your least favorite color. Um, again, it's hard for me to choose a least favorite color, but I guess if I have to pick, it is red, maybe? It's just so aggressive. Um, but I have a lot of books with red in the cover that I like, uh, one of them being this copy of The Odyssey. And the red is this sort of metallic red and it's paired with this like gold-ish background sand sand and silver 
Question four, your favorite cover of a classic. A lot of my classics do not have covers that I particularly appreciate. Some of them are Dover's and those I particularly unappreciate. But um, one of the first classics that I ever got was Pride and Prejudice. My parents gave it to me in seventh grade and I read it right away. And I think the reason I read it right away was because the cover is so pretty. Um, and this is the Modern Library edition. I was drawing women in these sort of like Edwardian, I think is the adjective, dresses for the next like two years. Question five is a favorite cover of a children's book. I don't have hardly any children's books here, but the book that I chose is The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. Again with this one, I like the fact that the cover is illustrative, even though this isn't like generally a style of picture that I am drawn to, but I think it works really well on this cover. I think it's really pretty, um, especially with the like typeface of the title. Question six is, do you buy books based solely on their covers? I would say occasionally, I, yes, sort of. I mean, I might fall in love with a book based on its cover and think I want to buy this, but I'll always read the back first and if it doesn't sound at all interesting or at all good, then I probably won't buy it no matter how much I like the cover. But I will read the backs of books based on their covers, so I guess that's a half yes. Um, one of the books, oh yeah. So Sabriel, in fact, was a book that I bought just for that reason, because I liked the cover so much. Um, the back of the book doesn't tell you anything about the story itself. It's just quotes from uh, other authors and book reviewers. So this is, yeah, this is definitely a book that I bought based solely on the cover. And lastly, question seven, a book that most exemplifies your idea of a beautiful cover. I don't know that this like most exemplifies my idea of a beautiful cover because I don't know that my idea of a beautiful cover is like singular enough um, to be exemplified by one cover. But this is one of my favorite book covers that exemplifies some of my ideas about a beautiful cover. Um, it's The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is a cover by Alan Lee. It's obviously a scene from the book, but it's not, again, it's not like super specific. It just like draws you in and kind of allows you to like enter the landscape of the book before you even start reading. Um, the print of the title is of course very Tolkien-esque. So that's the beautiful book covers tag. If you haven't done it, um, feel free to do it. I would like to tag the impish grin and the sassy ghost. I hope you do it and I would love to see your videos, especially because sometimes when I don't have enough energy to read, I like to just look at books.